Good morning everyone, Will again here. So today we're going to be looking at what off is in sheep and how we prevent it in the flock. So today we are vaccinating against off. And I've got my friend helping me say Ed, he's over there. Well yeah, that's what we're doing today with the ewes. We're going to get them in and get them vaccinated. So if you do enjoy it guys, please give it a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Don't forget, hit the little notification bell to get to uh, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Cheers guys, hope you enjoy. So we are just rounding the sheep up now. We've got Ed over there at the other side of the field. And what we're doing, we're walking up the side of the field to get the sheep in the point and walking back down. Sorry it's a bit windy today, but I can't do it for that. If you don't hear me at all, I'll try and do some uh, where we can sub headings below, subtitled. But yeah, well, that's what we're on with. Let's get the sheep in. Tell you what, it's wet in here. The river's up, so over there you can probably see the river just nearly up to the bank of the field. So what we're gonna do after we've done these, move on to another field where it's a bit drier, fingers crossed. We are just um, walking them in still. Steady job when you don't have a dog. And anyone that keeps coming to a dog, a dog I know, I really want a dog. Just situation at the moment means I can't, but I'm sure in the near future, it won't be long till one arrives on the farm. It's a handling system, so I know you've met Ed before. Ed, so come help me say, do a bit of work experience. Do the sheep yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, so um, just having a rest because we've done a bit of running getting the sheep in, and then we'll crack on getting in the handling system. Just not as fit as I used to be, I guess. Go on, girls. <laughs> That's all the using now, it took us a while. I'm soaking in sweat and it's just started to rain so it's even better, at least it's cooling us down, but the roll in, they didn't go too bad did it? No, it just took a while. <laughs> just a while. So yeah, we'll crack on, I'll get all the handling set up and built up and we'll explain exactly what we're doing. So that's the ewes all in, and now we're going to vaccinate them against the off. So what off is, it's a blister that sheep and lambs can get around the mouth, which is really sore and can affect how they eat. So lambs usually get about lambing time if you get an off problem on the farm. But what we're doing today is vaccinating it so they don't have that problem. So what off is, I'll put a picture on the screen now, and it's um, like the blisters on the lamb's mouth. And when they suckle the ewes um, teat, it can make their teat sore. So then the ewe won't want the lamb to suckle and it can mean that the lamb suffers and doesn't get food. So what I've got here is a tiny vaccine. So this is here is 50 doses. And I pop this, oh, I use getting a frisky. So the ewe, um, sorry, the vaccine goes into the gun. So there's a spike there. Just push it up there. This is a live vaccine, so we have to wear gloves push it up there so it's on tight and we push it like that 
and eventually the vaccine have come out the spike. So I'm now going to show you guys how I vaccinate the ewe. So there's two prongs here and what these do uh, cut the skin so we go on the tail of the ewe. So if we go down here and we go under the ewe here. So what we do is lift the tail up and can you see it's bare skin there. We get the applicator, push some of the vaccine out. So I'll keep pushing until some blue liquid comes out. So there you can see the liquid's out. We scratch the ewe until it's scratched like that so it's now scratched and she's done it's as simple as that so this is a live vaccine so obviously when the liquid goes on they catch the disease so or what they get on the tail so then they scab over and when the scabs come off they're immune to it off and they won't get around the mouth and they won't give it the lambs at lambing time so that's basically why we do it guys <laughs> So uh, when doing the scab evacs we've got to do them about seven weeks before they lamb because obviously we want the scabs to fall off in a place where the lambs aren't going to pick them up so we make sure we do it way before they lamb and then nothing will pick it up and catch it. So there as I accidentally self and scratch myself but luckily I spoke to the GP I pushed it out it's all fine bit of a disaster but everyone's all right and fingers crossed I won't lose a finger I shouldn't laugh about that touch wood but yeah we've only got about 50 left to go out so getting on well nearly lunch time so hope we're done before lunch and it's all good cheers guys we'll carry on <laughs> Last slot, mate. Let's get around these and get them. One's in. Two in, three in, four. So that is just done scabby vaccine. Ed seems rather happy and wet. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I loved it, mate. Thank you very much. No worries. So, um, Ed just come for the first time today to give me a hand. This is a real big hand, but yeah, we're just gonna pop these sheep back in the field and we're done down here. And we're done, guys. I hope you uh, found it interesting the scabby vac. It's just a way to keep the health status of the flock really good and make sure that we bring no diseases onto the farm.
that is us done for today guys all the sheep are back in the field on some fresh new grass so it's not as muddy um i just like to say a massive thank you for watching today guys if you did enjoy it please give a massive like if you want to see more stuff like this please subscribe and don't forget hit the little notification bell and then you get to the um, videos every wednesday to saturday at half seven thank you again guys and thank you again Ed. you're welcome mate see you later